Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Vinland Saga season 2 épisode 11. Today I'm gonna watch two episodes, like usually with these sessions of binge watching of Vinland Saga. If you don't know it, I'm binge watching Vinland Saga right now. I watched all of the season 1, all of the beginning of the season 2. If you want to watch all of my reaction videos, into the chronological order, you know, you have the playlist that I made for it on my Patreon, maybe more right there than right there, right there, something like that, <laughs> if you can be interested by that. I'm glad to be there for two more episodes because the last ones, you know, they were really about Torfin and Knut, how they evolved. And they really made a parallel with the fact that both of them lost a dad. Both of them were traumatized by it, but when Tolfin had the time to have all of the steps of rage, trying to have his revenge, and you know, really being blinded by this rage and going on the dark path, and finally he worked on himself during his dreams, talking with Asclad, who helped him to understand that in fact he was feeling guilty for all of the bad things that he did during all of that period of time, all of the people that he killed and he has to, to get out of that all of that guilt and also all of the things around that with the fact that maybe Tolfin feels like Thor's would be mad at him, would be ashamed of the past that he took and now he wants really to follow Thor's past, to be a true warrior, to not fight anymore, to not kill anymore. Like, really, Tolfin finally worked on himself. Finally, he emotionally evolved. You know that during the entire season one, the beginning of the season two, I talked so much about it, the fact that physically, mentally he evolved, he got stronger, he was more clever, clearly, but emotionally he was still a kid and the main proof of that is the fact that into his dreams he was picturing himself as a kid, even if he was an adult. And little by little we saw that changing, we saw that at some point he was picturing himself as an adult watching the kid that he was doing this bad stuff meaning that he was seeing the difference that he was not the same person anymore and he was judging what that kid did and he was trying to stop that kid and finally really the dream that he made the last one that we had it was about making peace with that understanding that he was that kid he is that adult it's okay, he can make peace with that, like he was that kid and maybe he's feeling ashamed of it and he wouldn't do the same thing anymore but during that moment he was blinded by his rage and it was logical and after that you know he has to make peace with all of the things that he did and the fact that all of these people, they were not his enemies, they were people fighting against him for their own reasons and in fact themselves they were trying to get out of this all you know to to make peace also with the situation that was so good so we had all of that about Tolfin the fact that he worked on himself after losing his dad after being blinded by rage after going on the dark path he finally worked on himself for Knut he did not make that work, <laughs> maybe because he did not have the time to do so, like it did not happen so long ago for him to lose his dad, with that circumstance, you know, that it has clad who killed him, in front of him, for him, but uh, you know, still uh, it was his dad, and clearly, now they both want to embrace their dad's past, but for Knut, it means that the person that he hated, that dad that he hated, now he is like him and he's seeing him not into his dreams also into regular days and all, he's seeing him that dad you know is giving advices to him and he's okay to be with him like 
really Knut took that pass and he's totally okay with it right now and it's also a lot about that discussion about having the crown it's changing you, you're full of ambition, you want that power, you want more power you're afraid of people attacking you so you prefer to attack first and Knut is doing it in a sneaky way the fact that he's poisoning his own brother like during the last episode we had that reveal and before that we saw that Knut was poisoning his enemies, you know, people who wanted to kill him. So for Knut to kill his own brother, someone who didn't want anything bad against him, just because he was afraid that in the future it would cause some issues. And with these memories, we really understood that they were always friends, you know, they were always close and they always love each other. And even Knut is seeing it, his brother was so great with it was so great with him, like he wanted to thank him for all of that but still, he killed him he's not just um, sneaky anymore in fact he's really a dictator, acting like a dictator taking decisions like a dictator and he's like his dad now and he's totally okay with it the fact that he's not seeing his dad fully talking to him but just his head for me, it's also meaningful with the fact that it's when he died, it's when Asclad killed him. You know, there is something around that, like when Tolkien was talking with Thor, he was not talking with Thor with a lot of arrows inside of him. Do you understand what I mean? He was talking with that perfect version of Thor that he had on mind when clearly when Knut is talking with his dad, he's talking with a version of his dad who is dead, who is really like that really old guy looking so bad and dead in front of him. So is there a part of guilt? Is there a part of shock still? I don't know. But I think that it's something that we need to explore, that Knut needs to explore. And at some point, you know, Knut, is he gonna work on himself like Tolfin worked on himself? Or on the contrary, we're gonna see really how two persons can evolve being traumatized by the death of their dad, you know, in front of them. One who wants to, to be with him, someone who was good, you know, doing something good. And one who didn't want to be like his father and in fact now is like his father and is okay with it. Like, maybe it can be something like that? I don't know, and I'm gonna discover that with the rest of this anime. Maybe today, with these two episodes that I'm gonna watch today, but that's really something interesting. They always put now, you know, Knut and Tolfin in parallel, and the fact that we have that parallel now with Tolfin, who finally got better, can smile and lose, and Knut, who is just that, I was gonna say that sad king, because he's not happy, you know, like he's cold, he's, he has his heart blocked, you know, like empty also, I have the impression, who is doing all of this bad stuff. It's interesting to have that parallel right now. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro, let's go for this episode. Remember that if you want on my Patreon, you can have 4 episodes of advance on my Patreon. Really, it's a lot, meaning 2 weeks of advance. 2, two weeks of advance on my Patreon. And you have longer reaction parts, sometimes a full, sometimes, you know, just the extended version, which is already longer, believe me, at least 6 minutes longer. And without cutting that much during the scene, and you have it with full opacity. I'm giving you these advantages on my Patreon to thank you for supporting me on Patreon because it's the best way to do it if you want and if you can. Let's go for this episode! I don't get it. Good. Oh really, can you you're not good enough? You need to go for it to don't to not give up. 
それにエストリスも見ている気づいておるのだろうなるほど途中から一段と打ち込みが鋭くなったのはあれがためかまたそのような Using that wolf as something for us? それに今は隣の男との話に夢中のようだ He's gonna watch? It says a lot about you. You have to respect the sword. Really? You wanna do that? Go, go, go! Go, go, go! So you're gonna be talking? So now the old tale of the Nagasaki Shinpai. Uh-huh. Kira was the one who opened their mouths. Like the real dictator that you are right now, can you? Ah, money is really. Money is gonna be really important It's worse. No, they're gonna accept that. You sing that and you're not respecting your sword, you're throwing it on the ground. Things can be like that also? Ah, it's done! I thought that it was going on. Okay. Never let him alone! Maybe he changed? Okay, it did not change. Like. You, his son! 
ストルフィンですさっきはどうもみんな業務って呼ぶんでうちの家事にも同じなるものがおるなと思っただけでして That's all. That's all. That's all. わしもこれをトルフィンと名付けた方がよかったからそのトルフィンあご家人の方はもしや奴隷ではありますまいか I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. お気を悪くされたと思い身分は伏せたのですがノルド人で金髪で茶色い目年学校はちょうどこのくらい驚いたなおっしゃる通りです背丈はもっと低いですが期待しない方がいいですよまたどうせ俺の時みたいに Is an adoptive son maybe this dolphin? No life was searching for a dolphin of his age you know and all あめずな。もっと良い事情かな。いや、そんなに遠くはないんだ。本当。I want you to meet the new dolphin. You deserve that life. You deserve to see him like that. ジョブで5日とかいうのか。ああ、公開所の時間のせいか。シャッドイッツ。今度のトルフィンはいつもとは違うんだ。あたりの予感はする。早く帰られとグリーンランドの海が凍っちまうよ。シャッ。Let him go! Let him go! Oh, we will be back to that! Don't give up! Don't give up! Don't give up! Don't give up! So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Such a liar, Kenneth. Amma, shut up! Don't. Oi, oi, oi! Who's in there, son? Hi, Sinka. What? 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 Badly. <laughs> On the cooked pig. Oh really? Uh, if you can't even do that, Orma. You should be ashamed of using your sword to do that. What? I thought that he was destroying it, you know, multiple pieces. It's worse than that. Can he be punished for that, please? Can he be hired, like, for political reasons? Can you do that? Mm. You're gonna take him. You want to use him to straighten the father? Like, Tolfin is gonna let you do it. I mean, I said that, and at the same time, for, for now, you know, he's just a slave. And no matter what, he swore that he's not gonna fight anymore, he's not gonna kill anyone anymore, Tolfin. <gasps> this episode was so big! I didn't expect all of the things that happened during it, and clearly, I didn't expect.
expect a talk to have news about life, to see life, for life to talk with Ketia, to understand that Tolfin or Tolfin is still alive and that you can meet him. I never thought about it. When clearly, when Tolfin finally changed, <laughs> my first, and you are a witness of it, my first thought was I want for life to meet that Tolfin, that new version of Tolfin. He deserves it. After losing entire years, you know, to search for Tolfin, after finding him and Tolfin pushing him away, after losing him again, all of this time, Leif had Tolfin on mind and he needs to see that new version of Tolfin. Even if they're not going to come back home or anything like that, he needs to see the man that Tolfin is right now and to be proud of it and oh Leif you deserve that so that's why you know I really hope that they're truly gonna go at Kitty Love's farm like they need to I know that for all of his sons maybe <laughs> they tired of it you know like dad you spent a year searching for that boy and you never found him and at some point you need to give up to just think about us to think about our future and stuff like that but one more, please, one more, please, please, one more. I'm wondering about really all of his sons, like he said, because the ones you know were at the boat, okay, but the one who was with him, that he named after Tolfin, someone who is looking like Tolfin, like, I'm wondering if he's not an adoptive son, because that Tolfin said at some point, maybe it's like me, it's not the good one again so for me all of this time Leif searched for a Tolfin someone who is looking like that you know with that description who was a slave and at some point maybe he found a Tolfin who is a slave who was a slave who was looking like that and maybe you know he had something for that boy and he adopted that boy I have that impression that maybe that Tolfin is an adoptive Son. No matter what, the fact that he met with Alma, with this context and all, oh, it, was, it was crazy, like, uh, I was going to say 1% of chance that it could happen for Leif to be in Denmark at this moment, for Kutin and Alma to be in Denmark at that moment, for them to meet. Clearly I'm watching an anime, so it's not a question of chance, percentage or anything like that, but you know, we're lucky, <laughs> we're lucky that it happened and the fact that they managed to talk about our Tolfin and for Leif to understand that it's surely our Tolfin and all of that like first you know I was surprised to see Leif appearing so I was like how can they talk about Tolfin like Ketil is not gonna talk about the slave just like that in the middle of uh, a conversation so I was really surprised that truly it happened, all of that happened, it's so great. And yes, like I said during the episode, in fact, during that day, Ketios met two persons who know really well Tolfin, Leif for sure, and it was into a good moment, you know, they were eating together and that was a good conversation. And after that, with Knut, the king, they didn't talk about Tolfin. Knut promised that everything would be okay, that he would let him let things, you know, be like it was always, you know, happening and all. When clearly, no, it's not gonna be that. You want to requisition their land and you're gonna begin with Ketil's land. It's awful what he wants to do, you know. But it's so great because it means that he's gonna go on Ketil's land, so he's gonna surely meet Tolfin. It's gonna be announced that the king is coming. So Tolfin, you're gonna know that Knut is coming. How are you gonna react? And when it's gonna be said what you truly want to do with their land, how Ketil is gonna react is not gonna have the choice but to accept because I think that you're gonna straighten Alma to do something bad to Alma or something like that, like, I don't know. And what it's gonna mean for Tolfin and now and all, like, Tolfin can't run away. 
because Knut is coming, he's a slave, he has to stay there because Knut is taking the lands, what can he do? He's a slave and no matter what, he promised that he wouldn't fight anymore. Oh man, these two are gonna meet again. But first life, first life, please, first life. Oh, I would die for that, for that moment, for that meeting, for that reunion. I almost cried, you know, just thinking about it right there, so truly when it's gonna happen, uh, not today. I'm not prepared to cry today, like, I really don't think that today would be like that. <laughs> this station I've been watching, you know, of two episodes, if it's happening today, I'm not prepared at all to cry today, to have that reunion today. Uh, I didn't see it coming, I'm not prepared for that. Torgir is not really useful right there. Ormar is clearly not useful, but in fact he's gonna be useful to Knut, but not as he wants. He's really a joke, Ormar. And it's making me a little sad for him, you know, that he's that kind of joke. The first fight, you know, Knut against Wolf was really interesting to show that Knut is not really good, you know, at fighting when we know that Torfin is really great. And also to show that Knut can win, but only if he's acting sneaky, only if he's cheating, you know. And it's always like that, in fact, with Knut. He can only win if he's cheating. And clearly someone like Torkel can't appreciate that, can't respect that. And that's why surely we did not have news about Torkel, you know, Torkel left because he can't respect that. It's true, I'm a little worried for you, girl. Okay, you're the sister, okay, you can't take the strong, but maybe you can be used by your brother. We'll see. That was a good episode. So many big things happened. I mean, big things for, for the story, not the history with a big age. It was not big moments of action or anything like that. But for the story that we're following, you know, Tolfin's life, Knut's life and all, it's really important, in fact. It's implying, you know, a lot of big things which are gonna happen. So cool. Okay, I'm gonna stop this review right now. I'm gonna watch one more episode today, but for you, it's all for this video. So it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Great.